Okay. So, this module uh, we will discuss about now only one remaining forms of IP that is uh, plan variety protection. We will give an overview of another important area uh, that is uh, biodiversity and its interrelationship with the IP. We will discuss about the comparative aspects of different forms of IPs, they are correlation, interrelations and conflict. We will discuss about the IP management aspects. Now, you have knowledge about all the forms of IP, now how can you manage? We will discuss about little bit on valuation and commercialization aspects of IP. Okay. So, the, uh, that uh, will be the, uh, the content about uh, for this module. So, understood. So, that uh, this is the uh, last module. So, the comparative part will help you to get an attributes or of the different of different uh, fe different features of IP and the interrelationship or differences part and the IP management part will help you to how will you manage IP or for one IP to another IP or how will you identify the IP all sorts of things. Okay. So, let us start uh, with the form of IP that we call a plant variety. Okay. So, that uh, class 1 or in module 1 is plant variety protection. In this regard, if I ask you that whether plant or plant cell or let us say chlorophyll can be patented in India, answer will be no. Plant and animal as a whole or part is not patentable in India. Okay. So, now uh, let us say consider the situation we have now food security act there is a population exploration, but our land area is limited and say somehow peoples are trying to occupy cultivated area for residential or business purposes. So, then what is the problem? We have to face may be that there may be a chances of say less food, food means agriculture based food and definitely government may able not able to provide the food security. Okay. So, now with how can you say provide solution to that type of problem and again consider a situation nowadays that natural the weather has been changing over the year, natural calamity or some aspects the that agricultural crops, agricultural crops ultimately not able to provide the output or return what aspect is supposed to provide. Then, third aspect let us say some cases due to some insect attack or some chemical attack, the agricultural resources get destroyed. So, what is happening? All the th things somehow impacting the production of plant based product. Okay. So, now how can you produce 
plant produced, let us sometimes call plant produced with minimum plant resources. So, there we generally we are coming out a area called uh, say for genetic engineering. Okay. Uh, sometime cross cross pollination, cross fertilization, uh, all those aspect as sexual reproduction of plants by virtue of which we may grow a higher higher create a plant which will able to produce higher yield. Just like say we have we are somehow limited resources of plant with the limited resource of plant how we can make plant produce more there you have that way the genetic uh, engineering may help you to generate higher yield from a plant. Okay. So, on that context the another form of IP the plant variety protection has evolved. Okay. Let us see uh, what is the things inside it. So, if I ask you as a biotechnologist or as a, a genetic engineer, what do you mean by plant variety? Okay. Uh, variety, I am telling you use the word variety, what it is. So, sometime we call just like I have shown you the uh, different varieties here. Let us say particular P, not P this one, a different, the different varieties, even in particular markets also if we go okay, ah, potato this variety, this variety of potato, this variety of, so these are the seeds ultimately produced from that plant, plant produce that has generated from the particular plant variety definitely. Okay. So, what the plant variety ultimately producing that plant produced, the nature of the plant in different you are getting the nature of the plants also different. Why it is different? What is plant variety? Okay. So, plant variety is a plant grouping within a single botanical taxon, you know taxonomy, the a botanist also taxonomy, sometimes you call genotype, phenotype characteristics of a plant, how the genotype characteristic changes, how phenotype characteristic changes. Okay. So, just like say some because, because of the agroclimatic or soil condition some phenotype characteristic changes whether that lead to the genotype characteristic changes which is permanent phenotype change or genotype change you know that. Okay. So, a plant variety is a plant grouping in a plant group is a plant grouping within a single botanical taxon of the lowest known rank which irrespective of whether the condition for the grant of a breeder's right are fully met can be defined by the expression of the characteristic resulting from a given genotype understood or a combination of genotypes distinguished. So, why I told you genotype phenotypes I will that variety, variety will be distinguished based on uh, genotype specifically because by virtue of that ultimately you can able to reproduce that plant if you not able to reproduce that plant, whether I can consider that as a plant variety or say no. So, genotype means by means of gene sequence or others may be that the variety you are producing. So, again they are telling that taxonomic rank below species and subspecies. In taxonomic rank varieties, taxonomic rank within the taxonomy you are trying to taxonomic rank below species and subspecies, variety remains below species and subspecies. Okay. So, what is plant variety you understood and if I if we will I will you able to correlate the plant variety with reference to the issues I raised including the food security, food crisis, natural effect of natures on plants. Okay. So, now, the variety part you understood. Now, whether 
somebody create a new variety of a plant, I will whether I will consider that as his intellectual contribution or not. Okay. So, yes definitely the if I try to uh, uh, put the theories behind I P, I can definitely link that that here, this is also a creation of mind, here also investment, here also utility, here also labor, all the things involved. Okay. So, why not give some sorts of exclusive right to the persons who developed a particular plan varieties. Benefit for the person, he will get maybe in the IP in the form exclusive right, if it is protected in by means of IP. Benefit for society, they will get a varieties of plant maybe that is giving higher yield. So, considering that context that plant variety protection has come up as another forms of intellectual property, but their problem lies that say whether our farmer has to procure the material or agricultural produce by means of seed from those person who will ultimately develop that using genetic engineering that produce higher yield. So, whether this will affect the rights of the farmer so, there is the question. So, for that reason in India, we consider the two aspects one is breeder, another is farmer and we try to our statute has tried to make a balance between these two persons or two class of people breeders and farmers. So, breeders rights and farmers rights we may refer within the purview of plant variety protection legislation in India. So, now understood who can be considered as breeder and who can be considered as farmer. You understood uh, plant variety and I am considering the breeders is producing the variety. So, the breeders means who breeds Ah, so, let us say in normal sense you may consider the breeders means who breeds, creator means who creates, similarly breeders means who breeds. Now, breeders means a person or group of person or a farmer, even farmer can breed, there is no problem or a group of farmer or an institution which has breed, evolved or developed any variety. Okay. So, if a person developed, I put a person developed a new variety, developed a variety, any variety, much variety, plant variety, I will consider that is a breeder for that plant variety. Okay. So, that way even farmer can also breeder. So, the farmers, who is farmer then? A farmer to be a cultivators cultivating the land himself or through direct supervision or one who conserve and preserve any wild species or traditional varieties or a breeder who adds value to such wild species and traditional varieties through selection and identification of their useful properties. You are getting some aspect of uh, superimposition between the farmer and breeders. So, breeders is the person who breeds farmer is the person who cultivates either directly or through supervisions. So, understood that, but say which is farmer, who is breeders. Okay. So, now you understood that why need uh, protection the breeders variety and let us say farmer variety. I will suggest say to make a balance we require protection. Let us what are the variety we are getting the now let us say breeder two class we are getting breeder and farmer. 
okay. farmer, breeders and farmer. So, breeders and farmers. So, breed who the breeders and farmers. So, who will breed breeders, who will cultivate farmers and also there may be a cross like this. Okay. So, now uh, why breeders will breed, why the farmers, whether the breeders thinks will influence the farmers thinks or vice versa. Okay. So, mostly the breeders things may involve the farmers things. So, we may have to make some balance between the breeders and farmers. Okay. So, now the breeders rights, breeders should have rights over the breed and let us say farmers should rights over the variety. I am putting that a traditional variety. Maybe farmers are cultivating, they do not have any genetic engineering sense and they are cultivating over the year a particular variety, traditional variety, traditional uh, variety, uh, various right, traditional right or let us traditional variety I am putting out here, variety. Okay. So, they have a rights, the farmer right exists in traditional variety, breeders right exists in breeding variety, let us say breeders right and farmers right, two rights we are getting breeders right and farmers rights. Okay. So, breeders part will come within the purview of plant variety, even farmer if breeds then that also come up within the purview of plant varieties. So, why need plant variety protection? If I ask then let us say which can be uh, we can summarize to increase the productivity and to produce a variety that are resistant to pest to stimulate in research and development. Three points you may put to increase the productivity yes, let us say genetic engineering by virtue of that you are producing a plant variety which produce plant which will produce better yield uh, that will resist some pest and definitely if you give protection research and development in that field will be will be ultimately uh, further progressed. Now, Indian plant variety protection act they produce they protect different varieties just like a novel variety you understood novel it is you naming itself extant variety which are getting to be extant, farmer variety and essentially derived variety. The four varieties uh, that will come within the purview of this uh, legislations. Okay. So, uh, farmer variety is also get protected and uh, breeder variety is also get protected. So, now the issue that whether they uh, require some characters, whether the farmer varieties or breeder variety, just like so when we try to frame a particular forms of IP, then we try to create some character that okay, just like a when patent we call novel, uh, again I am repeating same thing, the inventive steps and others capable of industrial. So, whether similarly the what character the breeder variety or farmer variety should meet to get it protected within the purview of this legislation. So, they put for breeder variety, they created the characteristics for breeder part, breeder part, they put up the characteristics, sometime we call N D U S. What do you mean by that? New means new or noble distinct uniform stable n d u s the characteristic and farmer the traditional variety I already mentioned traditional means they are practicing over the year particular variety. Okay. So, uh, what do you mean by new? N means novel, means that variety should be no, no new. What do you mean by new? That not existence. Okay. Uh, so, not existence. Okay. Then, distinct is should be distinguishable from the other variety specifically, just like say when I have shown you in the photographs that okay, this will be distinguish, distinguish with reference to the one variety is distinct from the others. So, it should be distinct 
uniform. What do you mean uniform? That is not like this if you are cultivating uh, in a particular area, only particular plant having that attributes, not all the area. Hmm. So, if you are thinking of okay, all the plant uh, having that are di uh, having the different varieties. So, that way that uh, this is not uniform that variety is not in uniform situation uniform part should be uniform and stable means because of some conditional changes or subsequently the seed will able to produce that varieties. So, if we not able to produce that variety subsequently what is the utility of giving that rights ok just like say a lot say particular tree uh, just like environs. Hmm. So, that uh, last for a particular may be uh, considered the life that the another part and particular others varieties just like it uh, uh, paddy uh, wheat and others see that uh, it grows then you are ultimately have to take it out ok. So, that way the cutter are for middle variety we are telling new distinct uniform stable these four things that variety should meet then it will be registrable under the plan varieties protection act. Here I forgot to mention the US try to protect it in the purview of plant patent they have also called plant patent for exclusively reproduced plant. So, now the breeders part and farmers part, farmer means all these characteristic is not the traditional variety, they are getting rights over the traditional varieties. So, now you have to make a balance between the farmers rights and breeders rights. Let us say whether if the farmers want to procure some seed from breeders, now breeders is charging heavily. So, if you in our act we have given a provisions or some sorts of privileges have been provided for the farmers with reference to the breeders and seed. So, they can just like say uh, get some uh, seeds from the breeder uh, like this and so, civil, so that way that farmer variety and breeders variety both can be protected under the plant variety protection act. The character what the character the breeder variety should uh, meet that is noble, distinct, uniform, stable and there will be a period of protection or for tree and vines it is 25 years. And 25 years that period of protection is 25 years and farmer variety you are telling the traditional varieties. Okay. So, uh, what uh, is the say uh, top what is the uh, things you have to remember here that what the that there is a another forms of IP in the form of a plant variety protection. Okay. Plant variety protection means the breeder variety required some character that is new, distinct, uniform, stable. So, there is a procedural requirement for registration of breeder varieties and also farmer varieties and for this say definitely that uh, in, 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 in India that again these forms of IP will come just like say I refer that say plant variety will come variety will come department of biotechnology that say uh, DBT department of uh, biotechnology within that part it is coming plant variety protection. So, that way that in the in also another uh, ministry whenever I discuss about IC layout, we told MIT, Ministry of Infrastructure, here, our Department of Biotechnology, DBT, 
is involved in respect of uh, governance and uh, registration of the uh, plant varieties. Okay. So, uh, the procedure also uh, you have, uh, there is there particular forms is there with that forms you have to apply for registration of that varieties. Okay. Then the examination and subsequent steps are there for registration of your uh, plant varieties and similar way that you will able to enforce your rights, but definitely the some sorts of privileges have been provided for the farmers with reference to the saw, resaw and uh, uh, storing of seeds. Okay. So, that way uh, our legislation has tried to make a balance between the rights of the farmers and rights of the uh, breeders. So, uh, that way that I am not going in uh, details about the legislations, I only you have to remember the basics things with reference to the plant variety specifically, uh, what are the different variety is getting protect getting get protection in India, who will be considered as a farmer, who will be considered as uh, breeders, what are the rights have been provided just like you saw or you saw cultivate huh? all those rights have been provided to the uh, breeders, sale hmm. all no, selling all sorts of rights have been provided to the breeders. Similarly, right have been provided to the farmers along with that farmer has some sorts of privileges. Okay. So, uh, uh, privileges with uh, storing all uh, the things and what are the different varieties uh, getting protected in India just like a noble variety, extant variety, farmer variety, essentially derived variety is getting uh, protection in India. Although no properly are defined for essentially derived varieties are there. Okay. So, uh, that part uh, you remember that is sufficient, but uh, how you can create the rights of our plant varieties that how what you analyzed the character, character required for say novel varieties just like a new distinct uniform stable that criteria, uh, there lies the role of uh, technology specifically, whether that technology uh, by means of say uh, genotype, uh, the you are put able to produce a variety having this sorts of characteristics as a new distinct uniform or stable. So, there lies the role uh, of uh, knowledge in the form of uh, biotechnology and in the form of uh, genetic engineering. So, using that knowledge you may create a different plant varieties and get it protected. Uh, just like say you know the incident about the British brinjals not within the purview of plant varieties uh, with reference to the uh, patenting of that. Uh, that uh, so, that they are, uh, there is others issues with reference to that plant varieties just like a toxicological issues, environmental issues all those things are also there uh, that are the defined areas with reference to uh, not within the purview of IP, but others areas. Okay. So, let us uh, stop it here with the knowledge of lim limited knowledge of plant varieties specifically in the forms of IP. Okay. So, next part I will discuss about another important area biodiversity.